Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading for the second half of June. Oh, I'm Donna Lee. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're still in Mercury retrograde, right? We're hitting the peak right in the middle of the month. Goodness, Cancer, what the heck's going on? There's a lot of air energy going on. So if you are feeling drained, feeling a lot of anxiety, um, I mean, you're Cancer, you're a water sign. Um, I'm water sign. I'm Cancer rising, Scorpio sun. Uh, this energy is like, mm -mm, like doing a number on my nervous system. I felt a lot of anxiety. To me, this is perhaps maybe the worst uh, Mercury retrograde that I've ever experienced. Plus, you've got we've got all the tech issues too. I have not been able to upload readings because nothing is working. So if you're there, man, I'm with you. Okay. Cancer, you have this time for a nap card, so it might be time to take a break if you're just overloaded, if your circuits are overloaded um, with all this air energy. You've got this round and round card, which is all about um, going round and round with something in your mind or repeating cycles like overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. And then you've got this orphaned card which is about um, you feeling kind of left out. It's kind of like the five of pentacles to me in the tarot. Um, feeling left out, feeling alone, maybe feeling a little down or depressed. Again, I think it's this dang energy is just overwhelming. Mercury retrograde in Gemini is a lot of air and it just feels like we're just like stuck or a lot of us do. <clears throat> Got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands here. Four of Pentacles. Looks like you, you know, really went after something here, a brand new beginning, moved forward with a lot of confidence to start something new, um, something I think that really inspired you that you felt was fun. But then you go to this four of pinnacles, it's like, it's like your energy expands and then you contract. You're like, uh, I don't know if I wanna do that. Looks like you might be keeping something a secret Two of Pentacles, Juggling, and Seven of Swords. Hmm. This may be about you wanting to invest your money somewhere and not making a choice. You keep, you know, juggling. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. And I feel like you keep giving up on this thing that you want to do, like building a, a um, what do I wanna say? Like uh, building a investment account, you know, investing your money. You're being very, very, very careful. And I almost feel like too careful or something. I feel like there's some deceptive energy around you and we'll get clarity like, you might be overthinking this, like I said. You might be um, you might be not be investing your money because you're afraid that you're going to put it in the wrong place, be deceived, and lose money. But you keep going back and forth with these ideas. Oh, you're gonna hear Buttercup in the background, my French bulldog snort snorting away. Um so I feel like, yeah, you're just not doing anything with your money. You're like, nope, 
these are all mine and I'm not going to do anything. And you keep rethinking, 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 rethinking. I feel like you started out strong over here, Cancer, but then you went, mm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I also feel like the reason why you feel abandoned or orphaned, left out, you're not having any fun. You're not spending time with your friends. You are focused so intently on this financial situation that now you're finding yourself all alone. You've abandoned all the good things in your life, the fun, um, being too... Uh, careful, you know, in neglecting the other part of your life, which is friends and family and having fun. And so you are being asked to come back into balance here that you need to quit focusing on all this other stuff uh, all the time, almost obsessing over this financial situation um, and, and let some of it flow, but also spend time with people. <laughs> and I feel like this, it feels kind of obsessive to me, honestly. And you keep giving up on this thing. You keep giving up on this, uh, thing that you want to do wherever you want to put your money Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles again, needing to make a choice, needing to, uh, this can also be a card of rebalance, so you may have be overworked here lately, and that's why you've got this time for a nap card that you're just trying to do too much, and you might be feeling exhausted, but and you've gone out of balance, so you need to come back into balance in your life. You need to take a rest. And this could apply to work. You may be done with, maybe you don't want to do that much work anymore. Maybe you want to start a new work, right? Do something completely new, but you don't know what. Seven of Swords, again, you don't trust yourself Cancer, you do not trust yourself. You want to do something on your own too, though. I feel like you want to be like a solopreneur almost or self-employed person. Um, I feel like that is exactly what you want to do because Seven of Swords is like a deceptive liar, cheater, thief, but it's also about um, trying to do it all yourself. Okay, trying to do something all by yourself because this this guy in the Seven of Swords is basically saying, you know, I'm going to steal all the swords from the opponent so that they can't use them against me. So he's going out there by himself. Get this Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Clarity on the Four of Pentacles, please. Seven of Cups. Not, no, what did I say? What did I say? Like, you don't know where to put your money. Seven of Cups says, I don't know. Okay? So many choices. I don't know what I want to choose. Feeling overwhelmed. Not wanting to pick something. Okay? So, in a way, it's kind of like self-sabotage. Because when you don't invest anywhere then you don't um, build assets, right? Like a home, a business, an investment account, blah, 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 blah. So I feel that, that you feel overwhelmed trying to make this decision. And um, your solution here, uh, Cancer, is to commit to something, okay? Quit juggling these ideas back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and just decide and stay loyal to one thing, okay? And that's how you're going to move forward is just be loyal to one idea. Pick one thing uh, that you're moving towards so you can make progress. Clarity on the Seven of Swords. 
it's interesting because I and the chair. What did I say? Move forward. What am I telling? What did I just say? What did I just say? Move forward. Use your will and determination to get going here. This could also be a move. Okay, you could be moving somewhere. Hmm. Like for example, I know a cancer, cancerian, who uh, is very tight with their money, okay? And has been trying to figure out uh, if they wanna buy a house or not for the past, I don't know how many years, okay? And they never actually chose anything. Now, I think they want to move to another country where the US dollar buys more of what they want. So this could be moving, you know, to where your money is gonna go farther, but you're staying committed to that thing, right? Be loyal to yourself. Quit abandoning all of your ideas here, Cancer, because that's what you're doing. You just keep abandoning. Um, I feel like I, this has been going on in the in your readings for a little while. Like you start something and start something, or you're trying to be overprotective, right, of your finances, being too careful. Yeah, the High Priestess says follow your intuition, okay, that... Um, Whatever your intuition is telling you to do, to go with that, you've got to, and to trust yourself, okay? Trust yourself. I feel like that's a big part of this, Cancer, is that you don't quite trust yourself or that your intuition is leading you um, down the right path. Yeah, since this is a major arcana, I feel like this is the whole issue in the, in the second half of June is you just don't trust yourself to make the right decision or you don't trust yourself in some way here. Yeah, you want the clarity, but what I feel like you need to get from this message or what this card is trying to guide you is to say you need to work on your future you need to work on your investment you need to get clear and you need to make a decision <laughs> you need to make a choice and that's your answer that is your answer but i'm going to pull one of the uh, spirit animal oracle cards for you cancer because I feel like if this is a relationship I will say this if this is a relationship then this could have been someone who was very deceptive to you okay started something new with you and was keeping secrets from you Okay, they may have been juggling more than one person. Uh, they were not committed and they could have been a liar, cheater, um, something like that. And then moving on, you have moved on here in your life. Okay, if this was someone like that in your relationship, then I feel like you were very slow to, it, it took some time for you to find out the truth about that person. Like maybe they said they wanted to choose you, that you were their one, but they never really did choose you. You know, it's kind of like someone who's just full of it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here's your answer. I just looked. Grasshopper. Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. That's what you're going to have to do, Cancer, to get to where you want to go. And then I feel like you're going to feel completely fulfilled, emotionally secure, um, very balanced in your life. Okay? And you're going to sit back with this after the decision is made and reflect on how you have made the correct decision for you. So, I hope this helped, Cancer. I hope you have a wonderful second half of June. If this resonated, please give the video a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.